<laughs> yeah, in six months time, a lot will have happened. But in a six months time, or let's say now three ma- three three years time, we've seen more than we have we have ever seen. We have lost more than we have ever lost. We have gone, you know, like our our all can I say, our kids, our sons, our brothers, our fathers, our mothers have died in in. Uh, mysterious ways wengine wanakotwa pale kware wengine wengine in riots in not riots but protests a lot has happened and uh, the good things that have happened to us are are uh, so little compared to the bad things that have happened to us as a country as a nation under uh, ruto regime i really don't know whether to blame him or I, me, me, i just don't know so guys today we are going through the stadiums that our own president ruto launched and there's this dam that goes by the name kimarin stadium and this stadium is in elgeyo maraquet outside the town of outside the town of iten so let me ask here let me ask because i'm sure you all know that elgeyo maraquet comes is the home or the harbor or the homeland of our very own you know the the guy with the big watch and everything you know and i'm just i'm just wondering does more comment really really i don't know then he comes from that area he should have at least made sure so such things happened for them then it reminds me of the road that was never complete the road that is just outside mudavadi's home and i just shut up because hmm, people do not even love themselves they just want to put money in their pockets you know they don't want to yani usha yona mtu mwenye aezi aezi jenga aezi tengeneza stima kwa sababu itamulika jirani unaona so waezi jenga barabara sababu watu wengine watatumia we are, our mps are just greedy and we are the stupid people that put them on that on those positions and they are now behaving like they live in the house up in the hill and we are down here they are, we are, they are behaving like they are sitting on the high chair on the high table eating and we are we are down here crawling waiting for the bread crumbs and it's very sad it's very humiliating it's very depressing you know if an airport can actually be sold <laughs> by the route at Osaka Kenya na end miss jo anaenda wapi but ataenda sisi tutaenda wapi anyway we were back to the stadium so kimarin stadium actually that is outside the town of iten in elgeyo maraquet is uh, already 83 million is gone you know 83 million gone and there's nothing to show for it uh, you can go and check on kevasos uh, uh, tiktok uh, account and you can see how that place looks like it's very sad it's very it's it's not it's not in the standard that you can say it and it, it that it has gobbled it at 3 million so we go to water stadium that that gobbled a whopping 350 million a project set to be completed in the year 2018 it's sandwiched sandwiched between a dumping site and a 2 billion housing project that stalled 33 years ago akisiju tunonge tutongelelea stadium ama tutongelelea easy easy stalled housing projects because remember Remember how Ruto has really insisted on this housing project. Na ni wa Kenya niwaambie hizi housing project ni unakatwa kwa taxes, ukishakatwa kwa taxes inaenda inajengwa on government land, ikishamalizwa kujenga tena unauziwa. Alafu years later you will to be told that these houses are on government land na utafukuzwa. That is what is happening in Kenya. So there's nothing like an like like a housing project. This is just another project on on which which the government is looking into so that they can eat more money, take more money from us because there is a project I saw that is of bado housing where iso nyumba they are from 1980 something people don't live there the houses are they are ghost houses they go in the bushes they are they have deteriorated though others can be renovated but a government they take a project and it and renovate government in attack a project and it are launch ikule yo pesa they want places to put to put those plaques that looks like tombstones and just eat the next the other money and just move to the next project yani kazi is launching projects launching project after project after project after project and it is sad 
So apparently, six years later, the project has not stilled, has not uh, has stilled and nothing to show for it. Now we are talking about Water Stadium, and this Water Stadium is in a very sorry state, and it's it's not worth. 350 million. We could see cows grazing, you could see children t turning it into a playing ground, and not to mention a quarry for building stones. So, in water, people who live around water project Wakijenga, Apundo, and Kuchimba Maui. So sad. It is a sad situation for us, and we should wake up and really smell the coffee. You know, Kenyans wake up and smell the coffee because everything is being taken. How it is taken away from us and it is being taken away from us from the people who we've put on the high chair, the people we put on the high table, the people we believe have the capacity to take care of us or to lead us. Apparently they do not have the capacity. It's time we stood up and showed each other that we can actually take care of Kenya because Kenya is not a nation anymore. It's a crime scene and it's, there's blood everywhere. What to squeeze one out of Mekufa anywhere, and there's no investigation, there's nothing, and that's it. The story ends there. You know, there's another one but go, that goes by the name Chuka Stadium. Remember, these are the stadiums that President Ruto said that in six months' time, Zingine, in three months' time, they will be complete. So, Chuka Stadium was supposed to be completed in three, in, in three months' time, and it is worth 274 million. Yeah? Though I saw some work there, I cannot really complain much about it, but it's not worth the $274 million. Another one is the Eldoret Stadium. At least that one, something is happening there. I'm just saying that a lot of money is being gobbled. Another, a lot of money is being swallowed. Greediness everywhere. You know, someone like Ruto, someone, some, someone like Murkomen, someone like Duale, someone like... Uh, the, the likes of those people, those people are already rich. People, those people have stolen from different regimes, from Kibaki to who, uh, to date, they have been in government. They have been paid, they are paid well. Let's start from payment. They are paid well. They go make companies that come to do projects and they are, they are paid and this, these projects end up in still, they never really materialize. So now, I'm wondering, pesa bado ni anini munataka? Like, pesa ni anini? You know, you're taxing us left, right, left, right. I'm even wondering, our grandchildren, watapata Kenya kikuwa state gani? Because it's it's already in a sorry state, and I don't know what state it will be that time. But for now, guys, let's just pray for each other, because Kenya is going down the drain. Kenya is going down. And in a very, very rapid way. It is going down in a, in, so fast and furious. We are really, we should really be scared. But above all, Mungu Bele, don't forget that God is the one who, who, who made us, who decided that we should be born in Kenya. So may God remember us. May God remember Kenya. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and above all, comment down below Niambia Una Filaj about the state of our country at this moment because it's a sorry state. But I don't want to talk much. Thank you and stay tuned for the next one.